Hello, Cosmic Explorers! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe and beyond. Today we're honored to share incredible insights from the renowned Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. But before we get started, if you're passionate about expanding your cosmic consciousness and discovering the universe's secrets, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up. This helps us reach more truth seekers like you. Also, remember that we host a live webinar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to visit the link in the description for more information. But for now, here's today's video. Greetings all. Alex, on the last webcast, you spoke of a specific alien species that was here on Earth who were obsessed with regards to humans, thus the need for an intervention to have them removed from Earth. This has been percolating in our thoughts, asked Jason. Could you elaborate and expand a bit more on this? Have you got all that? Specific alien species who are obsessed with regards to humans. Well, that's that's several. Um, the E. Banner one, the Greys were another, the Reptilians were also another. Um, there have been several lower vibrational races that were obsessed with us, with They realized that their physiology, their physicalness, that they could never ever do or possess the talents, the skills, or the abilities that humans have, Terrans specifically. Because of our genetic makeup and all the different genetic lines that make up the human race as we know ourselves today. They wanted very, very much to be, they wanted that to be them. And they became obsessed with trying to create themselves after our own image. In other words, they wanted they didn't necessarily want to be our our culture, but they wanted the physical attributes that we all possess. Because for them, it would not only extend their life, but it would give them a great deal of power. And fortunately, That all didn't really come into fruition. Plus, there's been a great deal of intervention to make sure that because, to make sure that that did not occur because of what their intentions would have been had they been able to uh, fully encompass and empower all of our spiritual attributes, our abilities to walk into other dimensions. Uh, our spiritual abilities, our ability to literally create and manifest physi physicality. They didn't have that. They needed us to do that for them. But they wanted the, the ability to do that for themselves. And they would have abused it. You know, and the intervention was not just a uh, other star nations, but it was also source itself that put in a lot of blockages, a lot of dead ends so that they could not do that. You know, sometimes the English language is so limited it's, it's hard to explain things that you've seen. 
but there's just no words for it. And that's that's always been an issue for me this entire lifetime. Um, there are things that I've seen that I've been shown that I have absolutely no idea how to explain it to you. Even now, even now. Do you have any updates on the mentorship the benevolence ETs will provide? Benevolent ETs will provide the mentorship the benevolent ETs will provide. Many of us are actively building our parallel societies locally and are interested in how the mentoring will be structured. You know, the conversations that occurred 20 years ago about the mentorship, which I've already shared. Katie, a lot of that has already changed. Um, it has evolved and it has moved, or I should say conversations have evolved and moved to a very, very advanced stage of mentorship um, of what it's going to look like because of the awakening process. Many of us, and I certainly would include you in this, when the time comes for that mentorship, you will be given the tools you need, and that's all that you're going to need are just the tools because you will have taken yourself to such a place that with the tools, you could finish the work yourself. And once you finish that work yourself, you could teach anybody here how to do it because you would know how to do it, what to do, when to do, because you've experienced it yourself. You've empowered yourself to do it. All they would do would be, would be is to give you the tools that you need. I don't know what those tools are. And then you would be able to finish your, your ascension process on your own. And that's what they want. If you want a race of leaders, then you have to create leaders. Now, the fact that you're already one, a leader, you're two thirds of the way there. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm using Katie as an example, because I know Katie. So, and thank you for being here today, Katie. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. We hope Alex Collier's insights have inspired you to look beyond the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We do read all the comments. Your feedback helps us create better content and brings us closer as a community of truth seekers. Together we can make a difference. Let's spread the light, expand our consciousness, and continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.